Well, year after year, it's the same thing. Coffs Harbour City Council always forgets the most basic things that people need. This year, only around 1,600 metres of footpath have been allocated, for which is most likely equivalent to a small street. Perhaps a council lives there, I don't know, but the rest of the town is all but forgotten again. Coffs Harbour needs a full-time ongoing footpath program in place until the whole town has been done. The Coffs Harbour Council's planning laws are so out of date they don't even cater for new sealed paths in new estates, making the same mistakes over and over again. How dumb can these people be, you may ask? What sort of modern town doesn't have sealed footpaths? It really makes you wonder if corruption's involved or if it's just that they are so dumb it's off the idiot scale altogether. People need footpaths so they can push prams on them, and elderly people who can't drive also rely on sealed footpaths so they can walk around the place. It's too hard to push prams on wet and muddy grass, but it seems Coffs Harbour Council doesn't seem to grasp that fact. Currently, people have to risk their lives and that of their children by walking in between busy traffic on roadsides. Any basic planning scheme should always include sealed footpaths as any part of any new development and areas that don't have sealed footpaths should be sealed, even if it means that those people have to pay an extra levy over several years. Coffs Harbour really needs a kick up the bum, and they need people that can make better decisions on funding and planning. Tourists that come to this tourist town must think we're living in the Middle Ages. It's no wonder business people go upstate to invest rather than here. We need sealed footpaths, even if it means you have to borrow to get them. Wake up, Coffs Harbour City Council.